Well, good to see you again, my friend. You too, you too. It, it, yeah. Last time we spoke, 100 Foot Journey. Yes. And I ended up on the cover of the DVD. <laughs> well. <laughs> Claim to fame. Yes. So this one is interesting. It's a true story, kind of, but it's not a true story, was my interpretation. I mean, this is modern warfare. This is what's yes. happening. Yes, yes. I'm assuming that it is. Yes, absolutely. I think it was well, well researched. So, um, yes, you're absolutely right. In many ways, it's a true story. Uh, it's an invention of a true story, <laughs> if you like. What did you have to research for your character? There's so much military um, speak. Yes, there's military speech, but uh, I think just who this person would be. You know, it's uh, very far from my experience, my knowledge. I would be hopeless in the military, absolutely useless. Um, so I had to get my head around someone who wanted to become a military person in the first place and then was good at it enough to bring her to become commander. And a woman in that situation means she had to be a particularly strong, willed and dedicated person. Incredible cast. Aaron, I think, is just, uh, I yes. see Jesse Pinkman, of course, Breaking Bad. When I say, uh, yes. Jesse, it's like our little boy's grown up now. Yes, yes, he is, and he's wonderful. And, and all the politicians, I, I thought, were fantastic with Alan and that group of politicians were really, really good. I did want to talk about Alan Rickman for a minute because he just did a fantastic yeah. job in this film. Uh, what was it like to you know, work with him, of course, again? I didn't work with him, oh, okay. this, really. I shot all my stuff because it just took place in one um, environment, in that bunker. And Alan, I didn't even have his voice on the, on the telephone. I was speaking to him. I had, I think, the director's voice because Alan hadn't shot any of his stuff. And then Alan came in, I think, towards the end and did all of his stuff. Hopefully he had my voice on the other end because I'd done my stuff by then. It was a complicated film to shoot, actually, in, in that way. Um, and I have to say, Gavin did an, an extraordinarily good job with it, really wonderful. Um, but I had worked with Alan in the, on stage, actually. We've never been... I don't think we've ever done a movie together. Incredible. Yeah. How incredible, speaking of incredible, is this technology that this really, you know, I know I don't want to get specific, we're not going to get... No. But I'm just kind of watching this going, it's, it's almost like a video game, but it's real. Yes, it, yes. What did you learn? That's, well, I learned exactly, the, along with you, where, just where the technology has taken us. And in knowing how far it's taken us, realizing that it's gonna take us a lot further as well. And at what point, you know, with, it's very interesting, human, human um, invention and imagination and extraordinary ability to create things like with, um, in, you know, medically and warfare. But at what point do you make a philosophical or a moral judgment and say, we can do this, but we're not going to because it's wrong. You know, as, a, as to a certain extent one has with the atom bomb, you know, we could, we've got it, we can, but it's wrong, so we will try and shut it away.